Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the first meta character that is nothing but wildcard meta character. Let's try to see what is this wildcard meta character and how we can use this one in our regular expression patterns. Let's try to see. The first character we look into is in wildcard. The wild card is represented by a period. So period means nothing but the dot. The dot operator. The wild card is represented by it. Almost everyone is familiar with the concept of this wild card. So uh, as I know that, so everyone know about the meaning of this wild card. What is this wild card? So this wild card in our regular expression pattern. So is represented by the dot. Wild card means normally it means it can be anything. So anything means any character or something like that. So anything wildcard means it's anything. So when a period is used in a regular expression, period means nothing but a dot operator. So when a dot period is used in a regular expression, it represents any single character. So here you need to understand that. So when we are using a period in our regular expression pattern, so it is the, the period represents that any single character. So that means any character that is single, single only to consider. But it has exceptions with some control characters like new line. So new line is also a character, right? But it has an exceptions that wild card means it will not take any single character. So it has an exceptions that something like control characters like new line characters. These all things it doesn't take into consideration. It is it is also important to remember that it is only for single character, not the multiple characters. So if you are mentioning a dot operator means it is meant for only the dot represents the period of meta character represents only for a single character not about the multiple characters. So this is all about this wild card dot operator. Let's try to see this real time implementation of this one. So here if you try to see here. So I am using this regex pal. So this is our online tool as we have already discussed in our previous sessions. Now what I want to do is, so here I am writing a text. So what is that? I am writing what is that? And why is hot? So just we are having a characters like this. So we are having a string like this. Now let's try to write a regular expression for this one. So we are using the global regular expression. Now I want to match character H. So I am as I am using global uh, flag. So it will match all the all the uh, matching parameters. It will try to check it. So it will check all. The, it will not only check the first match. So it will try to check all the matches that is present in the string. So now it will check for all the H. How many H has been there? So now we are able to see that blue color. So H has been. Now what I want to do is. So after H any character it can match it. So here if you try to see H E A T H E A and H E A. HY also it has to and it is trying to take HO okay so HO so now after H so one single dot operator is there so that means it can have any character now what I will try to do here I will use T now if you try to see here HAT has been matched so here the middle character can be any character it can be A B C any character but the first and the last should be H and T now HAT is matching here also HAT is matching and here we are having HOT. So this one is also matching. So that means in the middle the character can be any character. So it will match that character. So it will match the pattern. Now let's try to say that I am using H question mark T. So the special characters also it will try to take. So H question mark T something like H exclamatory T. So we, it can take anything. So if I try to do something like H space T. So this one also it will match. So why because dot means it's a period of wild card, wild card meta character. So it will take any character. So it should be surrounded with H and T any single character. Now let's try to say that H O O T. I am using something like this. Now it will not match. Why because so in between H and T only single character has to match. But here we are having multiple characters. So it will not match the pattern. So H O O T. And we have already seen about this multi line so it will also take something like h sorry h enter t so new line so now h 
Newland character and T. So here we are having a something like non credible character that is nothing but a Newland character. So Newland character is also a one character. In between this H and T, we are having a Newland character which makes this one to come in a new line. So that means in between the H and T, we are having a Newland character. But that period of uh, that period operator will not take that new line character thing. So this is the thing you need to understand. And also one thing what I can do is I can also add something like H tab tab. I can use this tab and I can also add the T here. So now the tab is having four spaces here. So it can also take this one. So tab is also a one new uh, one character. So like this any characters we can add like this. Now here HAT is matching, HAT is matching, HOT is also matching. So it comes under the wildcard entry. So here H question mark T. So here we, we are able to see all the all the characters it is matching, but not the multi-line characters. If you try to use this multi-line characters, if you use another dot, then it will match, match this one. So, but we are not using this dot single dot only. So that means single character. So each one dot it presents the single character. Now if you try to see here, so only the New line character is not matching and HOT this one is also not matching. So this is our, this is how we will be using this dot operator. For example, let's say that I want to check something like H dot T. Okay. So now I want to check like something like H dot T. So I want to check exactly so which is present with H dot T. So here it is taking something like we have, it is present as a wild card entry. So it is taking all the things. But if I want to check the pattern with the dot operator itself so how we can do that one so we can do that one by using this escape meta care escaping the meta characters so we'll try to see that one in the next session but this is all about this wild character so wild meta character what you need to understand is so it will take so how many dots you will represent it will take those many characters each period operator will take only the single character and it will not consider some of the control characters like the new line character and also the tab and all those things also will be considered as a uh, what I can say will be considered as a character itself. So this is all about this wildcard entry. And if you want, you can also check in this cheat sheet also. You will be able to see. So here you will be able to find somewhere we, somewhere they will be trying to write dot operator. I haven't written here. Here they have used this escaping this dot operator. So anywhere if you try to see, so you can be able to see. And we also have something like a dot in JavaScript, a dot all operator is also there, uh, which supports this new line, something like new line characters is also thing also there, which supports with the slash s, this uh, with using the slash s, it will support it. So these are uh, exclusive in the JavaScript, it will support. So that is a different thing, but more, but in almost in all the languages or almost in all the programming languages, the dot is nothing but the period operator, it will represent the wildcard character. So any character in the string in between those characters, any characters, it can take it as a pattern. So this is all about this wildcard entry. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.